All right, family. Welcome to the family tree. Put your hands together, family. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All That's right, what's up. everybody. That's what's up. Well, good to see everyone. Uh, we're gonna go into it tonight. If you got pins and pads, that's right. As always, as always, you know, it's good to see everyone and hopefully that your week is going well. I'm going to tone it on down, Big B. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. Uh huh. All right, and we're gonna get started. Let me stop sharing up there. All right, there we go. All right, all right, all right. Alrighty. All right, family. So welcome everyone. <laughs> and uh Big B over there. Let's yes. everyone give our host with the most. That's Big that's B. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey everybody. Morgan, a hand. Yay. 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 Big B, I hey, take guys. it. Hey, it's hey, still, an example. You know, it's so so good to see the familiar face, man. And you you know, you're looking good, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Let me tell you something. It, it was a grind, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm so grateful. Yes, yes, yes. Have yes, me get yes, run around yes. the room here in a second. Make sure you mute yourself, man. Make sure you mute yourself. Everybody mute yourself, okay? Mute yourself. If you buy phone, make sure you mute yourself, okay? Mute yourself. Mute yourself. All right. All right, Big B, so much going on in the world, man. man We're going to yeah. start it off, but you know what, family? I want to welcome everyone, and, and as I said, uh, we're going to talk today because this is the family tree, and where the tree is, that's where the family resides. We get that's around right. the ancient that's concept right. of gathering around the tree. If you join us for the very first time, welcome. We want to say this is the place where you can ask all those questions. You know, sometimes, you know, people wonder, where can I ask these questions? Sometimes, you know... Yeah. I, I don't really want to make it. I don't want to make fun of me. No, nope, there is no dumb questions, right? I know that's right. Yeah, no, that's right. Was the one you did not ask. If you don't ask, usually somebody else wants to find out the same thing. So we want to open that forum. We do it with respect and honor. And also, if you don't know, you don't know. That's why we're talking, right? I know that's so right. So also, uh, we want to make sure that if you have a question, look down at your bar down there at the bottom and you would hit your reactions bar and from the reactions bar you would raise your hand and we'll see you in queue up there and big hey, B or prophetess i don't know if Robins is on today i don't know i haven't seen her yet i haven't seen her yet but yep. someone will retrieve that question for you or you'll be put in queue and we'll try to get to your question if you want to put it in the chat you can put it in yes, the chat yes, box yes, yes. also we'll retrieve it and if for example, you are calling by phone. Let us know that you're by phone, and then we'll try to make sure we get to you, okay? Because you might have missed the prompt that says how to raise your hand. So don't worry. Just let us know, and we'll bring you to the front. All right? Sounds good? Because there's no better place than the tree because... I know that's right. I know that's right. Social Security. Security. That's exactly Stay right. Stay slow, y'all. Social, social Security. Security. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Social Security is not just a check, right? It's your family <laughs> first and foremost. Uh, and yes. that your questions and usually problems and situations are right around you. So we're going to kick it off. And Big B, uh, we always go to our numbers because as of lately, there are some numbers that are starting to, to go on the rise. Yes, and sir. so we want to keep the family up to date on what's going on around the world. Hey, All you right? know, my man. From our favorite site, guys, that's what? Encove2019.live. Quick facts updated 11 minutes ago. Total confirmed cases, 518,963,240. Total critical cases, 39,272. Mm -hmm. Total deceased, 6,281,740. Total activity, <clears throat> total active, 52,783,102. Here we go, guys. Mental health moment. Mental health moment. Yes, 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 yes. Bam, yeah. total recovered, guys, 459,879,304. Woo! That's what's up. That's what's All up. Right. That's what's up right there. Right. We need, you know, those, you know? we need those encouraging numbers. And <clears throat> what we say is the encouraging numbers because we know that numbers are starting to rise again. Are you prepared for, you know, now we see that the open arenas, the restaurants i think that everyone sort of wore out here in philly just alone because we were the last ones to have the mandate and then three days later pull it back so we kind of got a little embar <clears throat> embarrassed a little bit mm -hmm. now what is it going to be like 
in the next couple of weeks when you have to put it back on or the schools are going to now go into those states. You know, we want to talk about that today. You know, what do you think about this? Do you think that we should go into uh, another state of, of panic? Don't ever panic, y'all. Never panic. Always know that you still, we're staying strong here on this uh, this side. We're doing by building the immune system. Build the immune system. You feed the body. The body corrects itself 11 times faster. So, uh, Big B, there was a, um, I did want to read one. There was one article I was looking at dealing with the Omicron. And the Omicron was that there's an Omicron subvariant behind South Africa surge detected in Canada. Mm. This is very close to us. This is hitting home right here. Uh, two new Omicron subvariants are now driving the surge of COVID-19 infections in South Africa have been detected in Canada. Um, this is actually Public Health Agency of Canada spokesperson confirmed they are aware of the three, which is the BA4 cases in Canada and one, of, which is the BA5. Because, you know, there was a one, there's a two, there's a three. Now there's a four and a right. five. I mean, this stuff is coming down, folks. This means that the sub variants are now continuously, you know, they're they're mutating. They're now starting to develop in their ways of always creating something else. You remember we talked about when everyone was saying that ah, oh, it looks like everything's going to be clearing up, and in Shanghai. They were still having problems. I said, uh, oh, that's not good. Threat mm -hmm. anywhere is mm -hmm. a threat everywhere. So let's keep our eyes and ears open for that. We'll probably go into more details with that with the BA and the B4 and the 5. Now, that's the BA4, BA.4, and BA.5, which are from the Omicron subvariants, and they originated out of South Africa. So the South Africa one is what's moving right now. All right, Big B, what do we have here? Okay, right on the very top, uh, Beverly wants to, wants to know what's good for getting uh, rid of kidney stones. I'm asking for someone else. Yeah, we always sort of come in around with these kidney stones lately. A lot of folks yeah. are having the calcification in the kidneys. Remember, whenever this calcification, number one, you got to think about dehydration, right? But also, whenever there's calcification anywhere in the body, there is lack of magnesium, Okay, magnesium. Okay. Yep. Usually there's a lack of presence of magnesium. In the magnesium, remember, you need magnesium for for calcium to uh, to be absorbed into the body. So wherever there's lack of of uh, magnesium, that's when you start to get the calcification in different mm -hmm. places, and it's crystallizing inside of the kidney. Sometimes it can get serious, where you get the crystal crystallization. And some of that comes down from the kidneys, down the areta into those areas of the bladder where it causes a little blood. You'll start to see a little blood into the the bladder. So or you'll see it in the and when you're urinating. So keep an eye on that. We always say go back to the greens. I gave mm -hmm. out I guess in the last three or four weeks, I've been talking about kidneys every week. And the one we talk about, you know, we talk about what? Not to diagnose, treat, kill, prevent disease, just food for the soul. We talk about what? Some of y'all can answer these questions. What do you have for kidneys? Answer the question. Can anybody answer the question for her? Uh, well, Dr. What? Paul, I use, this is Nita. Nita. Mm -hmm. I, started, I started with my celery drink every morning now. There you go. That's right. Celery. And, and, and what else made me think about something just this morning? I said, wow, to see celery juice is a diuretic. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know when I drink it, I have to go two or three times before I leave the house. There you go. That's and right. And then I thought about, boy, since it's a diuretic, I don't take Lasix or Ferrosamide, but this sure could be an eliminator from taking a drug and drinking celery juice. You got it. You got it. Also, another one is parsley. Parsley. Okay. Parsley. Parsley is excellent. You know, parsley will get things moving, and that's where uh, parsley plays a big role as far as cleaning the kidneys, but also moving it. So maybe a little parsley dropping in that celery drink. Okay, you know, I'll do that. It might be a little extra little kick. Not a lot, though, because, boy, okay. let me tell you, 
I went off and one time I was testing parsley out. Let's say when I was young, <laughs> I was testing parsley out. Oh, man. Said, oh, this looks nice. What's this small stuff? Started okay. throwing it all real. <laughs> real. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Real, real loosely. <laughs> I heard that now, loosely. I literally had a parsley salad. Wow. Well. Oh, let's just say I stayed close all day. <laughs> 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 like, whoa what is going on that was a total detox day you can definitely mm. believe that parsley will move the digestion system wow and very very good also for eliminating parasites and and things like bacteria mm -hmm. so if you have a bacteria or you have a lot of children that may have like um gastrointestinal issues that is excellent parsley will move that stuff out of the system so Celery and parsley, but don't use a lot of parsley, man. Trust me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we got that. Now, listen, uh, Freya says, the question is, is, is blood, liver, and kidney? I'm not quite sure uh, with the punctuations here. Is blood, liver, and kidney used the same cleanser? Yeah, well, you have herbs that can actually do, they do multiple system things. So, uh, you know, one that does that and that comes to mind is dandelion. Dandelion mm -hmm. does all three. It deals with the, you know, it deals with the liver, the kidneys, also pulls water off the legs, and also moves the lymphatic system. So that's a, it's a boom, boom, boom. That does a lot of things. And mm. a lot of people, you know, and stomping on the, the dandelion. I had a dandelion roll right up on me. This is just coming right out, you know, right out in the middle of my lawn. I said, uh -oh, look out. Well, you go in now. <laughs> I'm going to cut you now. <laughs> so, so don't think it's a weed. <clears throat> it is not a weed. It's a very powerful, mm. powerful. Uh, not only is it, it's also a diuretic too, because you got dandelion will make your kidneys move. Mm -hmm. It's also a good one for the kidneys. Uh, it is definitely pulling water off the legs, but very high in potassium. You know how you have the cramping at night? Anybody got cramping at night? Been there, the been, the there. Night? been mm -hmm. there. Get the charley horse mm -hmm. you know, and, or the calf Woo! in the middle of the night. Y'all ever had one of them? You mm -hmm. got to jump out the bed. <laughs> you can't. And your toes curl up like this. Oh, my goodness. That is painful, boy. Yeah, buddy. Jump up and run around the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Yes, and then you might run into something because it's, it's dark, you know, mm -hmm. so it's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -uh. yep. You can do dandelion root tea? Yep, you can do dandelion root tea. That's an excellent one. You know, the root is always going to be the strongest. Y'all know that, right? Anything of the root is always going to be the strongest. So that's, that's why we always want to you know, look at those things. And some of the things that we do, we call it doctrine of signatures, which means that, you know, when you can look at certain things of, of what the the plant looks like, tells you it's a way of the communication. It's God's way of letting you know what it's good for, like taste, colors, the way it grows, the direction it grows, the smell, you know, the fruit or the stems, all of those things mean something. Mm. And it can tell you about the plant. So maybe we can talk a little bit about that today. I can maybe talk to you about some of the things about some of the leaves, you know, some of the leaves that have bitter tastes, you know, that versus the ones that taste a little sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay. It means something. Yep. It all means something. All right. All right, Big B. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Kay wanted to know if you can use unrefined sesame soil, sesame oil on, on a baby's body for dry skin. Oh, yeah. Sesame oil is very good. Uh, sesame oil is done for a lot of different things. But, you know, unrefined is in its natural state. You know, any oil that's natural for, you know, for pretty much all uses. Uh, castor oil is another good one. Uh, you can use uh, any of the coconut oils. Uh, all those are good, just as long as it's unrefined. Remember, it's nothing going to be added, you know, just as long as it's no... Uh, hydrogenization, no refining, things like that. No chemicals added. You know, stay on the non-GMO tip. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing more and more on this GMO thing. It is 
everybody's fessing up now. I don't know if y'all know this, but you better watch your bread now. Watch your bread. And you tell yep. me about watch it. Watch your bread. Everybody's getting slick. Start to see the made with bioengineered ingredients on yes. a lot of bread mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting there going like, wow, man. And see, they're not telling people these things. They're just sliding it in and doing it. Remember, there's no accountability for it. And I had a guy came in and uh, we were talking about candy bars because his son was with him. And we were talking about candy bars. And I said, you know, they they modifying all of the Mars companies, modified all the candy bars. He's like, what? <laughs> I said, mm -hmm. wait a minute. <laughs> I said, yeah. He's like, well, what, what's, what's in the Mars candy? I said, all of them. That includes like the M&Ms. He says, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. You mean M&Ms? I said, yeah, just grab the package of lemon M's and you can look at the very bottom. It says made with bioengineered ingredients. Wow. GMO, right? And Snickers, Almond Joys, Mounds, Mars Bars, all those. They're all GMO now, right? So he's sitting there looking at me like in a stare. And he says, and his son is already with his mouth wide open. Like, <laughs> his son is mouth wide open. And I said, you know, he says, I didn't tell you this, but we love, we love M&Ms. And mm. I said, oh, okay. He says, but for some strange reason, he says, the M&Ms are left on the table and nobody's been eating them. And then we've noticed that they don't taste the same. I said, wow. Yes. That's because they're GMO. Yes. They're it in slow. Yep. So you need to be watching everything that you're eating. I mean, when I say everything, you really do. You know, I did the story on uh, the maltodextrin. You remember I did the maltodextrin mm -hmm. a couple mm -hmm. of weeks ago. That's worse than canola now. I mean, uh, really, if I add an extra sweetener, those are sweeteners. This thing, Lily, the maltodextrin, which is a artificial sweetener, mm -hmm. they're putting it in everything. And especially if you are diabetic, it is blocking your gut. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. what's happening with it, it blocks the gut, stops you from assimilating nobody is assimilating their nutrients anymore mm. that's where the weight pickup is coming from y'all you know when people say i just can't understand i'm 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 getting all this bloating this gas a matter of fact i can't after i eat i feel like eating again you know i feel like i didn't eat anything and matter of fact you know they're telling me now i'm malnutrition all of those issues fall under lack of assimilation you're not assimilating your food maybe this maltodextrin maltodextrin uh they're getting anywhere from less than a penny for 30 grams of it so they're using it for everything and they're packing it in to all the foods so cakes cookies pies crackers uh barbecue chips <laughs> yeah barbecue <clears throat> chips <laughs> My, my, my. <laughs> all of those things y'all all why everybody looking around like this when i did that everybody was looking like this yeah yeah that's the ball can you, you spell that can you spell that for us sure m-a-l t-o d is in david e-x t-r-i-n maltodextrin and it is a bad one y'all let me tell you and when I talk about, if I were to say those that come through for the R and 3A, if I gave you a percentage, it would probably be more to close to 75% of the people that come in Ouch. that have a weight problem. Ouch. Every one of them is, uh, they're having assimilation problems. And when we back it up, it's coming to something like that. And, um, the other one, of course, is canola oil, which is plotting up the arteries and veins. So it's, it's. We're becoming walking cesspools. Mm. Wow. You know Please something? listen. That means we can't <clears throat> get it in. Mm. Okay? When you try to take it in, your body says, I can't assimilate that. That's what the villi do. The villi, the little hairs in your gut, can't assimilate. So now your body says, well, push it aside because I can't get it. Well, then that pushes into the like the lymphatic system where it's undigested or now starts to get you know, into parts of your organs. Mm -hmm. And now... Folks aren't exercising because we're sedentary. It's because, you know, because of the COVID, people aren't exercising. They're not in the gym anymore. Some people are getting back into it, but a lot of not. And now you can't get rid of it because you can't move the lymphatic system because you're not sweating anymore. Yeah. You got it? So you mm -hmm. can't get it in. And when you get it in, it pushes it aside. So you can't assimilate it. 
but your body retains it and pushes it into your organs and mm. your lymphatic system, and then you can't get it out. So yeah. then you start to have issues with blood issues. Mm. That's where the blood issues are coming from, the autoimmune issues. You know, they're saying my hemoglobin is low. Oh, now they're saying I'm anemic. Uh, all these things that are the red and white blood cell counts are low. All these numbers are off. Why are they off? Dirty blood. We're walking cesspools. You got to get it moving, y'all. Got to get it moving. Exercise, get you something going. Lymphatic massage. You know, we did the pumping. You know how the pumping, ladies? <laughs> Remember, we did the pumping under the arms. You got it? You should do this every night. Everybody should do this every night before you go to bed and when you wake up. See, like this? Breathe under here, under here. This is the cervical, right? Axillary is under the armpits. And inguinal is in the groin. Right, yes. So basically what you want to do is get that moving. And then start to breathe. Work on your breathing. If you're if you're having problem breathing, remember you should be breathing from where? Your chest or your, your tummy? Your tummy. Belly. You sure? Yeah, your tummy. Okay, okay from your tummy, right? Yes. Take a deep breath. Stomach is supposed to be coming out. When you blow out, how do you blow out? Through your mouth. Through your mouth. <sighs> pursed lip breathing. It's called yes. pursed lip breathing. Like like you're blowing out of a straw. Right. Got it? Pursed lip breathing. And that also gives you timing to catch your breath. That's that's what helped me, Dr. Paul, come come around real good from this oxygen I, that I was taking. Right. Oximeters, you know? I would definitely recommend everyone get an oximeter, which is, means your oxygen, you know, it takes a, a laser light and it taps your between the corpuscles in your on your in your uh blood so it's tapping and the distance between there they can tell where your oxygen levels are so definitely i would say get one and and nisa correct me if i'm wrong should be above about 96 right yep. 96 well actually yes the closer to 100 but mm -hmm. we keep it in the range of 90 to 100 right but if i have a patient who's 90 91 and they have a incentive spirometer i mm -hmm. have them do some breathing exercises and it pushes it right up yep and that's right how important i'll be right back i'm gonna get yep. one so, yep and you gotta take a deep breath you gotta yeah. breathe y'all uh, because remember when yeah. i just explained all those things about how we're walking cesspools now because we we're not assimilating you're not getting it out and you're not breathing so you see the carbon dioxide buildup that's happening inside of people is on the cellular level. That's what's causing the perfect environment for cancer, bacteria, virus, fungus, parasites, all of that. So you see what's happening? You got to get it moving. We got to get it moving. Get your circadian rhythm going. You know, but most importantly, things start to change when you start getting back to detoxing again, get your colon cleanse, get your parasite, get your bowels moving. That's what you got to get moving. I mean, when, you know what? You know what? I, I, I attribute so much of this to my grandma when I was little. She said, little Paul, did you boo-boo today? <laughs> and I, she used to bug me. She used to bug me. And I'm like, you know, she would do it like roll up on me when I'm with my buddies and them. She said, did you boo boo? I'm like, Grandma, come on now, come on, come on. You embarrassing me. She said, did you boo boo? And I said, yes, 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 I boo boo. But she would constantly do this and telling me, but she was teaching me something at that very young age. She was teaching me to be regular, to keep it moving, keep it moving. And that's something I've learned all since I've gotten over. I can hear grandma in the back of my head. <laughs> Did you boo boo today? I so am. You eat, you must eliminate. Hey, there you Got go. It? There you, you go. Eat, you must eliminate. If you There's your oximeter right, right there, Dr. Paul. There you go. Show Bill right there. Big you, Big B. There you go. Yep. That's right. Take a deep breath. And if you take a deep breath, You'll see that number go up. So you're at a, what a 91 right it's now. It's at 91 right now. Yeah, I, right. I would run in the other room. Yeah. So what you're doing is get one of those, you know, so that you know where you are, and it also tell you if you're breathing right, you know, if you get enough oxygen. A lot of people are not getting enough oxygen. So, all what right. What is it called? Oximeter. Mm-hmm. Oximeter. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, so, I'm sorry. Can you spell that? Because I'm going in and out. Who? Pulse oximeter. Yep. Oh, pulse. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. See over there, Sydney's. See, not, is that Sydney's? Uh, Sydney is half the one right. there. Also. All right. So okay. let's go to uh, Dr. Paul. What brand was that that um, Big Bill has? That's an uh, TNG. TN, TN okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I interject something just to let everyone know if they have an HMO, a Medicare HMO Advantage plan, they have. A um, incentive for over the counter, you have an over the counter limit. Yes. Uh, to mm. purchase every like three months. You can Excellent. get one from there. If you Excellent. look at your catalog, oh, that's great. Oh, Nita, oh, you see, always yeah, bring us, she always bringing some gems in, boy. That is a gem. Let me tell so you. Please, please purchase that. Yes, get that and a blood pressure cuff. Got yes, it? Make get sure the you get the Omron. Get the yes. Omron if you can. Yes. Yep. The Omron is the one yep. we use. Yep. That's the closest if you're going to get one. That would be the closest. Got it? All right, Big B. What do we have up there? Okay. We've got uh, Dolly and Cynthia up in the corner. Is that who was first? Or yes, uh -huh. they're, they're the very first okay. ones. Dolly, okay. Cynthia? Dolly? Cynthia? Yes. Yeah. Peace. Hope all is well. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Bill. Yeah, I was asking about for someone else concerning they always falling. What causes you to fall? You might not be tripping over anything, but here and there you fall. Well, uh, I would have to probe more questions, of course. Um, you know, first thing we think about is uh, whenever there's falling. Uh, how old are they, by the way? Like 60? 60, 60 years old. 60, yeah, right. see, you know, whenever you're talking about walking balance coordination, that's your autonomic system. Autonomic mm -hmm. system is where you deal with coordination, balance. And I want to tell you, that's on the rise, too. Yeah, absolutely. Autonomic issues lead when it gets really bad. It's, it's damage to the myelin sheath. So that means that you, when you see the little shaking in the hands, you ever seen anybody shaking in the hands? Mm. You know, that's the Parkinson's mm. family, um, Lou Garrett's, ALS. Uh, multiple sclerosis, that whole family, you got to watch, you know, those areas because it's damaging the myelin sheath. The myelin sheath is like a, like a, a cup protective coating over your central nervous system. And right. if you break that, if that's broken, mm. you're like, you ever have a extension cord hooked to a light? I always use this as an example. You have an extension cord hooked to a right. light? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. the extension cord and the light flickers, you know, yes. on and off. Yes. It's breaking the line. So that's what's happening. You know, the question is what's breaking the line? And it could be environmental. Got it? It can mm -hmm. be sugar. Sugar's another one, big one. You ever, I had somebody couldn't was moving just like this because they love sugar. Couldn't stop shaking. Right. Couldn't even write couldn't even write the name anymore. Mm. But that's basically because the sugar uh, destroys the autonomic system. Also, um, you gotta look at things that would invade that would be like root canals. Uh, you can talk about things like asbestos. Uh, chemicals that you may have been around. Uh, mm -hmm. Hair products. Hair products. Absolutely. Hair products. Absolutely. Yes. Hair products. Absolutely. Hair products. Things like the lie. I got to do a whole show on just hair products, you know, and how the different types of perms and different chemicals that are used in these things are literally destroying and leaving a gray matter under the scalp. You know, it's 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 really bad, y'all. Not good, not good. See how we're we're surrounded by all of this pollutants and everything. I mean, it's it's amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very much amazing that we're all still moving around. I mean, yeah. by the grace of God, we're doing it. You know, but uh, there's a lot that the body is is dealing with, trying to keep you clean. Okay. You know, one of the things that I always tell folks that you know what you might want to add in your arsenal of things and that's that you've heard me speak about it a lot would be the msm yes methyl sulfony methane got it it's right. not a bad not a bad thing to add that to your arsenal because remember when you need something to clean the cellular debris and you know that's what we're talking about today you trying to eat and those cells are packed with pollutants wow uh -huh. you can't get nothing in 
You can't get nothing in. You can't pack nothing in when you got a debris and toxicity already in there. You need to clean those cells. You know, they call it cellular debris. <laughs> That's what they call oh, it. Oh, okay. okay. But, you, but you know what it really is. It's cell poop. That's yep. what it is. It's just cell poop. <laughs> more so I'm going to call it what it is. It's cell poop. And that means that anything that eats defecates. Got it? Anything that eats defecates. So that means plants, animals, trees, even cells, bacteria, cells, anything that eats defecates has a circadian rhythm. It's a cycle. It's a rhythm. So what happens is you got to clean it out. Now, what's missing? MSM is sulfur. You got it? Sulfur is missing in our food sources now because it's been denatured out of the soils. So now when you have broccoli that normally had a certain level of sulfur has been denatured, doesn't have it. That's what pushes the nutrients of the something, for example, like broccoli into your system. But now mm -hmm. if you don't have it present, now this is why the conventional foods are no good. Mm. The conventional have no, it has nothing. And then, you know, you got to be, <laughs> I don't want to tell y'all no more stuff. I really don't. <laughs> no, tell us, tell us. Uh, we adults. We can, we can, we can. Y'all adults. Y'all sure now. Y'all sure adults. Now. We're adults. <laughs> All right. Positive. All right. I got to tell you this one, because when I heard this one, I'm almost picked my shoe up and threw something at somebody. And this was actually dealing with, um, you know, they're using. Oh, gosh, this is hard. <laughs> they're using things like human waste to grow my, my, my. And fruits. Yeah. Yes, 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 sir. Uh, I, I, that years ago. Heard about no, that. No, 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 no. Not the that, organic. <laughs> not the organic. Right, not the organic. That's what well, I'm technically, saying. they're going to label it as organic. Oh, wow. <laughs> they're wow. going to label it as technically organic. <laughs> but <laughs> human waste, yeah, y'all, really? Don't trust these folk, y'all. Can I go there? Oh man, it's 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 disturbing, man. It really is. But that's what's going on. Be on the lookout. You know, ask questions. If you're in a neighborhood where you're having, uh, you know, food deserts, you know, talk to and ask. You know, you know, where's the where's the produce manager here? You know, Big B, go get the produce manager. I know that's right. Hey. Would you eat this? <laughs> That's what I would say. I'm just sorry. That's the stuff I do. I do stuff like that. I'll go right to them and say, oh, man, are you, you need to get some better than this. You know, start to challenge them on doing better. Sometimes they need to be educated, just like we talk about here on the family tree. So it's about education sometimes. So right. be on mm -hmm. the lookout, you know, just stay on top of it, y'all. Uh, and MSM, you said that for... Um, yep. the gray back to your hair. It deals with that too, yep. right? Yep. Inflammation. Hair, yep. It deals with inflammation. Hair. Why would that do that? Because when you're cleaning out the cells, you're increasing circulation. Remember mm. the issues with, with gray hair is circulation. Yeah. There's a copper deficiency. Also copper is one of the deficiencies of, uh, when you have hair that turns, uh, from black to white. So it's losing the ability for its melanin. So that's where it's copper. That's why you use copper wiring in technology, because it's a conductor. God, it's a conductor. Okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you think this person has a problem with the nervous system? Like Autonomic. Autonomic. When you were talking about when they're falling out, when they're falling out or whatever. And well, that's what, that's what I'm yeah. saying that you need to check first. That's what our RM3A does that. I'm going to tell you, though, there's another there's one other area that I would say to check. And of course, this is not the diagnosed street kill preventing disease. Just food for the soul, man. I got to say that um, you want to make sure they don't have any infections. You know, infections are on a rise right now. Infections, uh, urinary tract infections are on a massive. High. I just told you people walking around like cesspools, right? Wow. Walking around like cesspools. So guess what? When you hold your urine, guess what? You holding it in that lower burner, lower chakra, root chakra. Perfect condition for bacteria to grow. Got it? Perfect condition. And so now if you holding it, especially if you're holding it. Y'all ain't holding it, right? Nobody in here holding it, right? Some of y'all say, I'm holding it right now. 
I don't want to miss the family tree. I'm holding it right now. All right, go to the bathroom. Don't wait on us. Go. Because what happens is, check this out. What happens is that you're holding it. Then eventually you go to the bathroom and you go. And anybody that had the feeling that once you go, you come out and say, you know what, dog, on it, feel like I got to go again. You got it? And it feels like I didn't totally release. It's like I got to go back in again. No, it's empty. It mm -hmm. feels full because the lining of the bladder is slightly infected. That's what's going on. That's what mm -hmm. most cases are. So it makes you, it gives you impression that, you know, that you still got to go, but it's really mm -hmm. the lining of the bladder mm -hmm. because it's too much heat in that lower burner. Got it? So that's mm -hmm. when we use like the Uva Ursi <clears throat> herbs that were traditionally used where we would be Uva Ursi, U V A, mm -hmm. U R S I. Uh, traditionally also, of course, the golden seal root, uh, you know, that's the golden seal root with the protocol, you know, the protocol would be two weeks on mm -hmm. one week off, two weeks back on, and then you quit it for right. a whole month. Got it. And also there are some other ones that we use also, but horsetail would be another one. Horsetail, horsetail deals with infections. Got it. Okay. And also, it's good for hair, skin, and nails, ladies. Mm hmm. Horsetail. So, those are the things that we would use. All right, Cynthia, Dolly. Yeah, thank you. And Dolly, thanks to you again. Uh, uh, I, 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 Paul, Go I ahead, was push going, out the way. Push <laughs> out the way, Dolly. <laughs> push out the way. She just pushed I, out the way. Get on out the way, girl. <laughs> but when I was growing up, if your blood pressure is low, that could have something to do with your balancing of the body. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, also, uh, I didn't explain what happens with a UTI. See, remember, your body's always fighting for you. That's why we say it's a perfect system created by a genius. Whether you cut yourself and you don't have to do anything, your body always has a program that sends white blood cells to the scene of the crime, start to correct it, right? Start to make new cells. You don't even have to worry about the ones that are damaged. We're going to make new ones. That's that pink flesh. That's that's new flesh. So what it does also when you're in a state of an infection in the system, the body immediately tries to get rid of it. So what are we going to do? Let's speed up the engine. That's when the heart starts beating faster. You have this speed strain. Now it's trying to heat you up. So now the temperature's rising. But here's the problem. Sometimes that temperature rises too high to the boiling temperature of blood, which is around 108. So if you're riding around a 101, you know, 99, 101, 102, that's too close. And that's when people start to get, you know, heat on the brain. And then they start getting discombobulated. So that's causing a lot of vertigo and balance issues that's why you might say sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so keep falling why they keep falling probably got a uti that's probably what it is so that's one of the things i would put on that list also dolly okay yes. so watch up and watch those things and the way we see it on this side is uh you know frequent urination issues if you drink water and immediately you feel like you got to go to the bathroom you know, usually when you drink water, it takes about two to three hours to release that water. So if it's before that, then probably there's a bladder issue. Got it? But I want you to start to pay attention to your water. Got it? Pay attention to your water. All right. Dr. Thank Paul, you. Uh, mm -hmm. this is Nika. I just want to add and reiterate to a lot of us who are getting a little older. Mm -hmm. When you're younger and you had a UTI, it's different, it's different symptoms because when you were younger, you had the burning and the pain with urination. But mm -hmm. as you age and get a certain particular age, those symptoms change. And I yeah. usually tell my caregivers of their senior parents or whoever they're taking care of, you got to watch their mental status. Yep. Mm. You notice the change in their mental status. Oh, mm -hmm. they seemed a little confused. Okay. Check the urine, get a yep. urine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Because they that's start great to eat. information. Ethan. See that yeah. excess, yeah, that excess heat on the brain, you know, is too much. That's what's causing a lot of discombobulation. It's too much heat. 
Your body can't take that much heat on the brain. And that's why they get foggy or they start to babbling, you know, mm -hmm. or the mm -hmm. words don't mm -hmm. come out. And I see a lot of it in, uh, you know, a lot of the ERs. They kind of like coming in and kind of, some are kind of laughing at them in a way, saying, oh, these, these seniors come in here and they falling all over the place. They talking all crazy. What's wrong with them? They, they got a UTI. They probably mm -hmm. got a UTI. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So just keep that in mind. Get the water. And I know it's hard because a lot of seniors don't want to drink a lot of water because, of course, it's hard for them to get back and forth to the bathroom. And it does yeah, cause a problem. Yeah, you know, going back and forth to the bathroom is a problem. So that's why you have to you have to you have to do a, a good management with that that whole system. But 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 look for that. OK, for discombobulation, falling, things like that. It could very much be a UTI. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Paul Hopkins. And just do a shout out. Can I do a shout out to you, Paul? Sure. Thank you, my mother. Everything's working, but you did assessment. So all you on this call, 170, get assessment. Uh, all right. Well, <laughs> not, nothing, else, nothing else left to be said on that, Cindy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Cindy. Appreciate <laughs> you. What do you call it? What's it? R or something? I don't know what it's called. R or RM3. something. RM3. I don't know that. That RM, RM3. That, RM3. Machine, <laughs> that RM thing. That RM <laughs> thing. That machine, th that machine <laughs> thing, Dr. P. Well, y'all funny, boy. That machine thing, boy. right. <laughs> they, they, Big B, they bang up that number bad. That RJ349 <laughs> thing you doing. <laughs> See, I'm waiting for you to come to Florida, Dr. Paul, for about a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, right. They are banging it up, boy. They say, let me take that RJ thing, uh, RZ thing you got going on over there. All right. Okay. Hey, listen, guys. Right. Also, b bear in mind, the R3 amp, R3, psh, I can't even get it out. The RM3 amp. They got me all messed up, y'all. <laughs> It's it's great information to have so that when you go to your <laughs> primary, uh, you can now you have uh, information that you can confront them with. And yeah, it's like them, a, and that way they can guide you a little bit more along yeah. with the information that you have in your hands. Yeah, so, you know, absolutely. Always do that. Yeah, and it's uh, what it involves is eight risk factors, and those yes. are the key eight risk factors that that deal with chronic disease. So remember, we talked about the autonomic system. Uh, we also talked about the pseudomotor, which is the sweat glands. Uh, we also talk about the uh, what's called the endothelial, which is actually the vessels in the arteries and veins, insulin resistance issues, cardiometabolic rate, that's your heart. Then we get into things like neuropathy, uh, what's called uh, small fiber neuropathy, and then there's another one called cardioautonomic neuropathy. And then we get into things like uh, also... Uh, your PTG is actually it's called photopathomography. It shows the plaque buildup in the arteries and veins. And all of this stuff is built up right with just you placing your feet on these pads. They're called galvanic skin response pads. And then we put oxygen on the finger, blood pressure on your arm, and about 15 minutes tells you everything that's going on. So from that, we take those numbers and we look at what your daily, you know, things that you're doing. And if you've been uh, have a chronic condition or whatever, we go back over the fundamental principles. Because remember, we say know where you are at all time. Don't break the rules. We got to get these fundamentals back under. And that's the 101 with the water, bowel movements, you know, staying off the processed food, no mm -hmm. GMOs. Watch the shrimp, y'all. Wow. Well, the roaches. <laughs> oh, I said. Watch the shrimp. <laughs> you know what, Dr. Paul, I have to um, just want to interject real quick. This is Bianca. Uh -huh. You gave me an assessment, and that machine picked up misalignments in my back. Yes, it also And one does. of them I knew about, but the other two I never knew about. And I went to the chiropractor, and he told me to tell you that you was on point. Wow. Thank you. Appreciate that. See? Yes. Yeah. He gave me an assessment and he found the same exact thing. He was like, tell your natural path doctor he's on point. Mm, great, great information. Thank you for that feedback. I appreciate that. See, yeah, that's why when you're doing that, see, you got eight risk factors, you know, and then you got the spine. We have a three dimensional spine. Like we can spin it and see your organs and also your spine to see if there's any misalignments. And if it mm -hmm. is a misalignment, is it affecting your organs? That's powerful information. And then from that, you got me. I'm number nine. <laughs> I'm the knife doctor. You That's know, right. Like, That's right. Like having nine doctors right there on the spot. But we give you a perspective of a what? A holistic perspective. 
And uh, that's what makes it, I think, people see a lot of good results because you know what you're going after. When you leave out, you know what your goal is. You know what you're, you're focused on. You've eliminated the things that people bounce you around with. So, as yes, you know, sometimes yes, yes. you'll bounce from doctor to doctor. They say, oh, maybe you need to go to cardiologist. Oh, maybe you need to go to endocrinologist. Maybe you need to go to We eliminate those things. And that's by looking at those numbers. It's a powerful, powerful technology. So thank you so much, Bianca. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, and matter of fact, Bianca, make sure you call Dodd on that and uh, uh, for that. Uh, we do a testimony line. We do have a testimony line, y'all. You remember we had the testimony line? Yes. Can I put that number in the chat again? Yeah, we're gonna yes, put that. Do. We're gonna put that in there. Um, Big B, can you punch this in? I'm gonna give it to everybody, but you can punch it in also. Sure. Uh huh. And uh, this is the testimony line. We just want to hear from you. You know, we're getting a list of uh, testimonies of people who are going through things. And you may want to just say, hey. And, and I understand that some people say, oh, I don't want to really be in the spotlight. No, we're not really trying to say spotlight as much as being encouragement for somebody else. Yes, yes, because, yes. Because, yes. you know, there's no pressure on you. Because some people say, well, as soon as I do that, they everybody going to be looking at me like I got to do this every week. No, you don't have to do it every week. Just want to say, you know, or reward you and recognize you for the steps that you're making. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, this is Dodd Stocker Edwards. Mm -hmm. And his number is 215 287 6388. Okay. That's our testimony line. He's taking all testimonies, anything that you got, green drink, colon cleanse, parasite, RM3A, you know, anything you got going on. So give him a call. All right. All mm -hmm. right, Big B. Let me go on up to the top here, Big B. Who else? Hey, well, you got Sharon up on the corner up there, Dr. B. Hey, Sharon. Hello, everybody. Hi, Sharon. How you doing? Uh, I, I'm alive. Thank God for that. Girl, don't you start. You don't you start. We're glad to have you. That's right. That's right. Um, I am. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm. I have some. I'm on um, a relative ten milligrams because I had suffered with blood clots mm -hmm. a couple times in my lungs and legs. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't really want to steal medication all my life, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. It's bad enough. Um, I'm on uh, levoviroxin, 88 milligrams, because they took half of my thyroids, mm -hmm. right? And I was very young at the at that time, and menopause is crazy. Sometimes sweating all the time. Mm -hmm. I did make appointment for you, but the appointment ain't until September. <laughs> no, you can get in. I I want to say this to everybody. Again, 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 again. Again and again and again. <laughs> that may be your booking date, but that don't have to be your date because we get cancellations and rebooking time. and shuffling every single day. Okay. You know, folks rebook. Oh, I got something to do. I forgot I had to do this. Oh, I got to do that. I got to go out of town. Can't do it this week. Can we do it? It happens all the time. Get to know Ivy or Mulaney, and let me tell you, you're going to be in sooner than you think, okay? So just check okay. back in with them. They'll be on the lookout for you if you really want to get in. And also remember, you can always do a phone consultation. Phone consultations I do every morning, starting around, you know, in the first thing in the morning. And usually I'm always doing that so we can keep you on point, so we can at least get a conversation going, okay? Okay. So, Sharon, um, did you say you said so far you said clotting, and then you said thyroid. You had the thyroid removed. Was it a total thyroid removal, which means parathyroid also, or was it's, it a partial? Partial. But I have a lot of other things going on with me. That's why I can't wait to see you. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> all right. All right. So and remember... I just got over that urinary tract infection y'all just talked about too. Mm -hmm. The yeast mm -hmm. infection, I guess that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So, mm -hmm. so remember, we're we're building up with toxins. So what we got to do? Remember, anytime you're dealing with thyroid, you got three things you want to write down: weight, temperature, and pressure. Yes. Got it. Weight, temperature, and pressure. Mm -hmm. That's like your that's like the gear shift in your car. Got mm. it? So when you're moving, that's moving and spins the endocrine system. So that's the pineal, pituitary, hypothalamus, all the way down to the thyroid, parathyroid, going down to the adrenals, you know, the pancreas, all the way down to the sex organs. So that's all part of your, your serpentine fire, as we say. 
Mm-hmm. So when you now have a parcel, you have to keep in mind, you got to keep this, this engine spinning. And that's your chakra system. That's the energy of the body. That's what keeps everything flowing. Got it? So with that, you got to look at sea vegetables. We say not to diagnose, treat, kill, prevent any disease. Just food for the soul. And this is for a lot of women that are doing this. Uh, sea vegetables are always what we start with. Got it? Mm-hmm. Um, clotting issues. My first question to you would be, what kind of oil are you consuming when you're cooking? Oh, I'm bake. I don't use oil. Okay, so I, heard, I, I learned that a long time ago. Bake, bake. Okay, good. Because of high good. cholesterol, just as well. Right, right. So, so also we got to look at um, now butter, margarine. Any butter, margarine? I'm getting better with that. Yes. Oh, wait a minute now. <laughs> <laughs> try, to, try to slide up on you, Doctor. <laughs> <Okay, laughs> you know, They're right don't around that one. Not as much. But it was I, on I a slippery feel... slope around that one. <laughs> what was that, Sharon? I said I'm, I'm getting better with that because I know it's not healthy for me. Okay, so which one are you doing? Margarine, oh. butter? Butter. Yeah, see, that's where right there. That's where the problem is right there. Mm-hmm. Sometimes see, margarine, so it depends on what's on sale. <laughs> yeah, oof. No margarine. Ooh. All right, no margarine. Margarine is the real bad one. That's the bad one. Yes. Okay. Y'all know that margarine is one molecule away from actual grease. I'm just kidding. Yes, that's true. And yep. also shares 27 same ingredients as paint. Yes, man. <laughs> a- amen. Oh, Lord. That's the truth. <laughs> Some of y'all going like, man, nothing alive goes near it. Yeah, yeah. They laid it out on the, on the hot concrete. With butter, <laughs> nothing went closely. Not even flies went to march. Oh, gee. Oh, okay. does that tell you something? <laughs> the fly was it's like, hey, with that big B, get on over here and get I this. know, that's right. <laughs> so All here's right, the problem. I get it, I get it, I get it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'll bake. When I, I do some serious it. butter, though. <laughs> <laughs> a nurse told me to leave a relaxing medication I take come from pigs. Hey, I would not, I would not doubt it. I would not I've been doubt on it. This for years. Yeah, oh, you got to remember that whenever you're taking any hormone medication, it's coming from animals. Absolutely. You know, the same thing with the capsules that, you know, that people are buying also. Anything you see. You know, the capsules that are encased. That's why we say vegetarian caps when yes. you're buying, you know, even mm-hmm. that, even when you're done buying vitamins and things, make sure they're, you know, they're. <laughs> I know, people are like looking at it like, wow, man. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yes. So here is Sharon. I just want to leave you with one thing, Sharon. Just try okay. to do something like a avocado butter. Okay, got it. Avocado spread. There's an excellent one called Earth Balance. Earth okay, Balance. Earth Balance. Yep. You can buy that from BJ's. They got tubs of it. Got it. Okay. That's a real that's a real good one. Earth balance. I only use it when I decide to bake eggs, does it? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, so just keep that in mind, okay? Keep that in mind. So the cleaning for blood clots, I was really concerned too. Yeah. Um, well, you gotta do the red onion tea. You know about the red onion tea? No. Okay. Mm-mm. Okay, go to my website. Okay. And you can download the red onion tea. You got to induce what what we call um, the allium. Allium families are the the onions, all the way mm-hmm. down to the scallions. You got it. Any mm-hmm. variation of the onion, try to do maximize. Please try to get un, um, organic. Okay, number nines. Mm-hmm. Number nine organic, and mm-hmm. also garlic is included with that. Okay. And constip- and I definitely heard you say what they use for that, right? Because some of that medication can cause constipation. They say, yeah, you know? because it's yeah, there's no life in it. That's what mm-hmm. happens. Yeah, no life. See, we're well, like I said, we're not assimilating. We're not assimilating. It's not mm-hmm. good, y'all. It's not mm-hmm. good. So, so looking forward to seeing you. Okay, I'm gonna call right. tomorrow. I'm gonna try to call every day. Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> I'm telling you, you're gonna get in sooner than you think. Watch. <laughs> yep, it always happens, man. You know, when you need to get there, you know, we'll get you in. 
You know, okay. Ivy and Mulaney, we work around situations. That's why I'm saying for anyone that's listening, you know, just stay on top of uh, because it, it. you never know when these things happen. I don't know when they happen. You know, they just happen. But Ivy and Mulaney stay on top of it. So they're trying to because we know that, you know, there's I mean, there's just not enough time to get everybody in. And we're trying to shuffle as many people as in. And, yes, we are backed up, you know, mm-hmm. but but that just means that that's why we do the family tree. Because everybody, this is like the family tree university, man. Y'all learn, we learn from each other. You got it? That's right. And so much of the things that we talk about here, you share. And that's mm-hmm. why I say the only thing I charge you with is the truth. Tell somebody so that you can go tell somebody so that might save somebody's life. Just something like that red onion or, you know, something dealing with that, you know, that infection we just talked about or the kidneys. Just this mm-hmm. celery will keep somebody off of dealing with dialysis you know it's it's really the very simple things that you can catch somebody early in that journey that can really change and alter their situation so keep mm-hmm. that in mind all right yeah i do share okay all right sharon all right thank <laughs> you extremely important Tell that butter girl come on now <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> by the way i put a link in there also for earth balance so you can get it they've got uh, stuff in there for Mm. avocado and all that kind of stuff so yeah and also right. canola oil canola, canola oil. oil watch the canola oil sharon no nothing with canola oil in it watch the bread mm-hmm. watch the cereals anything that says canola oil and anywhere it appears on stay away from it and the other one is the maltodextrin that's what's causing a lot of constipation maltodextrin and i mentioned that earlier mm-hmm. in the call. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank all you. Right. Y'all all got, right. Y'all got your goggles on. Everybody got the goggles on. You gonna <laughs> go in the store looking like? Wait a minute. <laughs> I know that's right. Say, what? Uh, indeed. All right. Let's get some questions there, Big B. Okay. Uh, in the chat? May. May. Of course, this is uh, uh, about the high blood pressure. Who's that? High blood pressure. Yeah. Uh, I guess her doctor informed her that. Uh, Let's see, pretty free, free with calcium for high blood pressure that brought numbers down the doctor. Then after we talk, I guess you you and she talk, prescribed a, mm-hmm. a calcium blocker. <clears throat> uh, was that a safe thing to do? Uh, well, say that again now. I, I uh, May, am, am, am I getting that right? Yeah. I know you're still here. Yes. Oh, that's not quite right, but I'll say what happened. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. You, you're breaking up a little bit, but go ahead. I can hear you. Just keep going. Okay to the doctor last Friday. Mm-hmm. I, I had high blood pressure and was treated in it with calcium. So when um, I, I discussed her that with her, then she went about prescribing a calcium blocker. Mm-hmm. That because then I kind of had to react. Well, I'm like, oh, I'm taking that. Yeah, May, you're breaking up real bad. I'll yeah, you break it up real bad. So, <clears throat> so I think you know, I'm understanding that she, you know, the doctor recommended a calcium blocker. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, just understand what you know what they're doing. They're trying to, and you did sit with me. You said. No, I haven't talked to you about that. Okay. This okay. Is- okay. All right. So that's why I'm saying. You know, we just talked about how the RN3A would eliminate certain things. So um, that's the one thing that we would be looking for to see, you know, what medications, you know, what people are taking based on what's really going on with them. So uh, things like calcium blockers, uh, ACE inhibitors, um beta, you know any type of the blockers beta blockers things like that you're going to really have to determine is that for you so apparently they determined that for you i can't say that until you come on through and then right. get your situation okay i have an schedule um, okay but it's in november so i'm 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 going to stay in touch with ivy we had a oh yeah up. yeah i'm telling you get in i always tell folks just get in just get on get on the schedule and then you know, we'll work it out. We'll work it out for you, but you got to stay close to her, and she will. She'll work it out. Her or Mulaney, or either one. Yep, they'll work it out for you. 
right. and uh, people are shifting and taking trips and going on vacation and you know overbook themselves and you know all kind of situations are going on. Yeah. yeah. But I would say May definitely I would you know we'll we'll look to see where you are. Only thing I would say in the meantime, family, get your fundamentals in order. Got it? Get your fundamentals in order. What are your fundamentals? Knowing that what? You got to get your water right. Got it? Get your water right. That's first and foremost. Make sure you're drinking the right water. Make sure you know your magic number. I call it the magic number, Big B. The <laughs> magic number. Your magic number is what? Come on. Come on, somebody. What's your magic number? Half your body weight. There you go. Half your body weight in ounces. In ounces. That's right. That's your magic number. And then divide that number by the size of the vessel that you're going to be using. So if that was a bottle of water, it would be dividing that by 16.9, and that'll tell you how many you're supposed to do a day. Got it? If you have just a 12-ounce glass, then you divide it by 12. Or if you have an 8 ounce bottle or just a glass you divide it by eight so got it so that's how you come up with that so make sure you determine what your magic number what's your magic number half your body weight in ounces then once you get half your body weight in ounces divide that by the size of the vessel because sometimes y'all got the big 32 ounces you know the big yeah. 32 ounce ones like this mm -hmm. see this right here this is my towel right here y'all mm -hmm. know about this did i ever show y'all this i showed y'all yeah, that's my towel. And I got a big one called the Zeus. <laughs> Look out. Look this out now. Look out. Huge. This thing is about this big. And it's from the same company called Tau. And this one is one of the best ones you can buy because it actually, whatever you put in it, stays, stays for about cold 48 or, hours. Is that cold, cold or hot? hot? Cold or hot. Stays in there. You can buy it right at Walmart. Steel lining. Steel lining. Got it? So <clears throat> that's what you want to keep with you at all time. Uh, let's see what else uh, fundamentals top 10 toxic foods you got to download that if you don't have that you got to live by that you got to start eating more alkaline based foods if you're having a, a problem with that just Google alkaline based recipes in Google you can even do soul food alkaline based recipes you got it that's a good idea mm -hmm. okay Yep. It's all in the preparation when you talk about, you know, when you're transitioning from eating the things that you're eating. Try to pull off this meat, y'all. Man, try to pull off this meat. Specifically, if you have arthritis. Got it? Y'all hear me? Uh -huh. You got arthritis. You got to stay off that meat. You got it? That's That, that actually stretch that causes uric acid because the liver has to work extra hard to break that meat down got it so that's what makes the, a lot of people have the joint pain and that uric acid build up in their knees and their joints and their and their ligaments and things like that so please 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 make sure you're doing that all right so watch the meats the beef is the worst did y'all know beef is the worst <laughs> yeah beef is the worst Beef takes anywhere from 48 hours to break down. And it just sits in the gut. Sit, 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 sit. Mm. And then your body's like, I got to work on this while you go to sleep. And then you wake up and you wake up, you tired. How many people wake up tired? Mm. <laughs> wake up tired. When you wake up tired, that means that you, you were sleeping, but your body was working. And that's, what that, that's what's causing a lot of that uric acid buildup. So... You know, uh, make sure you're doing that. So top 10 toxic foods, go down that list, nitrites, nitrates, aspartame, things like the margarine we just talked about, refined sugar, refined salt, refined oils, uh, going down the shellfish, going down the, the uh, uh, junk food, GMOs, fluoride, chlorine, uh, going on down to uh, dairy. And then, of course, things like heavy coffees. Now, coffee is a pro and a con. You can deal with coffee, but you got to get the ones that are low acidity, right? Low acidity coffees. You know, uh, Dr. Lenny, I just see Dr. Lenny jumped on. He has one that um, that they're promoting online called Mud. <laughs> mud coffee. And it's, uh, it's a little bit of the, you know, uh, <laughs> it's called Mud. 
and Doc, I think Doc's on here somewhere. But mud is good. It's it's actually good, pretty good. They deal they do a little, little bit of the um the I believe it's um a combination of the lion's mane and a couple of other the uh the uh different ingredients in there. So you can find a lot of good stuff if you peruse those areas and aisles of the coffees and things. You'll find some good alternatives in the health stores, all right? And then the last one would be going into things like fermentation. Of course, you know, alcohol is fermented. It doesn't mean you can't, you know, enjoy yourself once in a while, but add a lemon or a lime to that to cut the acid. Got it? And things like fermentation would be like what? What's fermentation, y'all? Fermentation. Give me some fermentation. Fermentation would be what? Yeah. Apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. <laughs> Sour crowd. Empty crowd. Yeah, yeah. Watch Dry the probiotics fruit. right now. So you <laughs> see why the probiotics are not working. And that, that's the reason why they're not working because we are the prebiotics that we convert to probiotic. We are the converters. Remember that. You don't want to add something like that because that's going to tar that's going to destroy the villa or villa. It's too acidic, <laughs> too much. A lot of that fermentation starts at about a 4.2 on the pH. That's pure acid, y'all. You know, you're trying to be around, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood up up in those areas, but that actually is going to make the body go after your knees, your joints, your ligaments. That's where your pain is coming from. It's pulling the calcium out of your hip and your knees, joints, kidneys, things like that. So be careful. Got it? All right. Uh, last one with carbonated beverages. Watch the carbonated beverages. Carbonated beverages would be what? Sodas, but also sparkling waters. Got it? Sparkling waters. They're stealers. All of these are energy stealers. And they're going to steal the energy from you. So what's happening is you're trying to build, <clears throat> if, you're, if you know car carbon or carbonic acids are basically, when you're, da when you're taking this, uh, we breathe in oxygen, we breathe out what? Carbon dioxide. So if you're breathing carbon out as waste while you're drinking it, you got it? So it's a stealer. Steals your energy. All right, so get those fundamentals, things there. Cleanse every change of seasons, right? If you eat, you must eliminate. Get those bowels moving. Got it? Mm -hmm. Every time you don't move the bowels, where's it going? It's staying in you somewhere. Yeah, got it? Get those joints. You got it. It's going to go somewhere. <laughs> I said, we're going to go somewhere. Yeah. Now, I'm going I'm to stretch it a little bit further. One other area that we see whenever this stuff sits, 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 because you're breaking cycle, you're eating out of the cycle, you're eating out of rhythm. There's a circadian rhythm chart you can download on my website also. Download mm. the circadian rhythm chart. Some of y'all know where that, what that is. But also understand that the biggest problem with, with constipation, when things don't move, so because you've been breaking cycle, eating meat when your cleansing cycle is happening, that stuff starts to move down for women moves down one inch right to the, the lower intestines and it sits, 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 starts to putrefy, starts going bad. One inch from the navel, top of the uterus, that's where we're finding fibroid cystin tumors, right there. And then they're gonna, if you're not doing something or cleansing, moves into the lining and eventually into the uterus. So now hmm. we got a complicating problem now. So keep it moving. You gotta get the bowels moving, got it? All right, family. And also, we do have the colon cleanse and the parasite formula. Go to shop.drpaulherbs with a S.com. You can order the full bundle kit. All right. All right. Matter of fact, you have a question about that right here, Dr. Paul, just before we go up here to Cherise. Uh, can you let me see, clarify which product items are included in the two bundles uh, for the detox? Uh, right, we're trying to colon. buy a few things online. Right. So, Again, it's the green drink, the colon cleanse, and the parasite formula. That's what's included in the bundle. Green drink is your multivitamin. That's your food, nutritional balance. That's also your uh, multi, but also uh, food replacement. That's a meal replacement for you. And that's what we try to keep you in to make sure you maintain proper B pH, but also that's an energy drink for you. You got it? Mm-hmm. The colon cleanse is what we do. We try to say do a 40-day detox. Those 7-day, 14-day cleanses, mm -mm. 
Mm-mm, no, don't do that job. You know, do something that's going to take time to start to move the debris out of the system. Now, when you do the colon cleanse, you always start with the colon cleanse, colon cleanse system first. Then you move to the parasite, which is the eliminator. Always one, two punch. Now, here's why. When you are starting to do the colon cleanse, any colon cleanse, and if you have parasites, which we all do, and if anybody yes. tell you they don't have parasites, they lying. <laughs> all right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they lying. I don't care how healthy and how whole food they are. They think they, uh, uh-uh. everybody has it. It's a natural process for the way the body breaks down waste. Got it? And if we did not have them, that wouldn't break matter down. Matter would not break down. So here's the thing. Colon cleanse first. And then when you take that, parasites, if they're believing that they're being eliminated, if you just colon cleanse, you must sweep with the parasite because they will try to now spawn more eggs. That's like they're trying to procreate. They say, somebody trying to get rid of us. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, we better spawn more. So it spawns by the millions of more eggs. So some people will do a cleanse, but they don't sweep. And then they'll say, man, well, I just finished doing a cleanse and I'm getting all this bloating and I feel gas and I feel like it's worse than it ever was. That's because you didn't sweep. You got it? You got a colon cleanse and sweep. That's the key. We try to do 40 days. Uh, some people will be shorter than that. Some people will be 30 days. Uh, everybody has a different sensitivity based on where they're coming from, based on their dietary or what they heavily were eating. Some people are heavy meat eaters. It's going to take you a little longer. Uh, some people uh, have very sensitive systems where they doesn't take them long. So in this day time frame, you got to learn yourself. So write everything down. That's why I say always grab the chart. We have a log that you can just take notes. So track yourself, okay? All right. Okay. We got Cherise up in the corner, there, Dr. Paul. All Charisse? right, Cherise. What's up, Cherise? Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. we can. Okay. I kind of got some bad news. Uh oh. Um, are you you're not on Instagram, are you, Dr. Paul? Yep. Okay. I need your Instagram because I wanted to share this um this Instagram page with you. This young lady, she um tested uh Crystal Geyser. And it has, yes, a, a good pH. Um I can't right offhand, I can't think of the name of the test that she did, but it did show that it was hard water. Um it didn't have no chlorine, no lead high pH, but it had trace trace amounts of pesticides. Yeah, you got to be careful. Be careful. Be exactly. very careful. Be very yeah. careful. And the reason I say that because I saw this week about six or seven different things on them trying to eliminate crystal geyser out the market. I'm going to tell you, they're trying to get it out. To, you're trying to get it out there. You got to remember where this stuff is coming from. It's bottle at the source. It's bottle at the source. That's it. But you got people that are testing. Them. There was one guy that was testing it, right? And he tested it with the strips. And everybody knows you don't test water with strips. You got it? But somebody that sees that is going to be non-informed. And they're going to say, see, that's why that water's bad. And see, let me tell you, the results are definitely when it goes back to testing the water the ph if it was pesticides the ph can't be high mm -hmm. it can't be high because mm -hmm. pesticides are what they're in a what they're chemicals so that's going to be in a negative that's going to be in a positive charge so that just tells you right there somebody's somebody's doing some finagling uh, yeah you got it see you got to remember it's either going to be male from principal or female you can't break the system this is a perfect science created by a genius so when you see things like that, you know, you know that people are specifically, we call it clickbait. Yes. <laughs> They're clickbaiting because they got to get this crystal geyser off to say it's messing up the whole market, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. Yep, because you buying it for a dollar, man. you're buying it for a dollar. And it's coming from the largest mountains in the United States, which not only are the best mountains, but they're the holy sacred mountains mm -hmm. of your ancestors. Come on, somebody. Come no, on, that's right. somebody. Y'all better come here what I'm trying to tell you. That water is not 8.5 for any reason. Mount Shasta, Mount Sierra, 
These are places where there's no pesticide near them. There's no pro this protective native mans. There's nothing around there. Where are you going to get it from? <laughs> See, this is why you got to run into somebody. You got to run into somebody where you can fool some of the people, but you can't fool everybody. I know, that's right. So when you say yes, when, when they first, the first question I would have asked them is, how can it have a pesticide? Because pesticide resonates in a toxic level. So that means the pH can't be on. It can't be. It's got to be. It can't be positive. Can't be a good uh, a pH when it's got pesticide in it, because that's going to be absolutely acid. <laughs> you got it. So be careful. That's what I'm saying. Be careful because remember, they're trying to move this stuff out of your, out of your hands. Get out of your hands. You got it. So stop. Stay with it. And the only way you really know anyway is when you test it on you. You got it. That's why I tell everybody to test your pH. You're going to see the difference by what it does to you so when you drink the water you test yourself you got it test yourself with your saliva and your urine you got it that's why i give you the tools I'm giving you the tools that everything you need to do right there you got to do it but see we got to stop resonating around waiting for something to happen mm -hmm. all right y'all gotta stop know, around right. stinking thinking see these yes. people are drawing your energy stop drop dealing with these people stop waiting for you know, the next stinking thing that happened. <laughs> <You know? laughs> See, we got to watch that, man. These are people that are trying. They're trying. They're trying to deceive and to pull you away. And especially Instagram. Oh <laughs> my, Instagram, TikTok. Come on. We can't trust any of these things, these social medias. You got to be on it yourself. You got the tools. You do it yourself. That's my, that's my response. You got it. Kool Aid isn't good for you, Doctor Paul. So don't drink the Kool Aid every well, Don't drink the Kool Aid. Don't well. drink the Kool -Aid. see you just. But see, Cherise, they just dimed on themselves <laughs> when they said there's pesticide in it, but the pH is good. That can't be possible. Can't be possible. <laughs> I'm glad you. I'm glad. You <laughs> they just dimed on themselves. Like you lying. You <laughs> lie. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go back and ask that question. I'm gonna be like, how can it? But because I was and just then, on Instagram, and then, and it just and, came and, up. And then there's another one, right? Because <laughs> I had these here. You know, I keep these right here. See this right here? That's my tester mm -hmm. right there. See the testers? Those are hydrogen yeah. drops. I keep them with me all the time because I see all this funny stuff out here, and I saw somebody. <laughs> And I mean, they, they're trying to get into trickery because there is a mass dollar amount with it. It's hard to beat something Amen. that's a dollar. It's hard to beat a dollar. And they say, man, this guy's a killing us, man. When you go to the market now and all the water is up there except for Crystal Guys, <laughs> you got to laugh. I, I laugh when I go in. I just crack up. I said, man, boy, they didn't got this spot. And <laughs> And the guys coming in with the water, they're like, yeah, well, I'll see you next week. Maybe next week somebody will buy my water. <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody's buying your water no more because they know the deal. You got it? I had one more Information question. is powerful, man. Information is powerful. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's why, you know, when you're doing that, you know, be be alert. That's all I got to say is be alert. Because I've, I've been watching a lot of them online, and then I'm just laughing. I'm like, Shh, wow. <laughs> Go be careful, Cerise. All right. I have one more question. Yeah, okay. I right, with with sinus infection. My husband he's suffering from sinus infection. Should he just do like the name or you? Because I was going to go out and get some. Or you have anything else? Uh, yeah, sinus infection. You got to watch. Make sure he's not doing no dairy. Right? No dairy. Um. No, he he might do cheese every once in a while. Yeah. Dairy. Dairy. Yeah. yeah. Dairy. 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 Mm -hmm. All dairy's got to go. Yeah, that's the number one culprit for sinus infections is is cheese or dairy. You know, 1%, 2%, no cow milk. Cow milk is for calves. That's it. And um, there's um, there's two things that I, I recommend for that. We say not to diagnose, treat, kill, prevent any disease. There's food for the soul. And one is um, oregano oil because that mm -hmm. deals with fungus. Right. Got it? And also the black seed bitters tonic. Mm -hmm. Got it? The tonic. Not the not the oil, the tonic. Yeah. 
That is an excellent one. Get that one, y'all. Get the Black Seed Bitters Tonic. That specifically deals with a lot of the... It has a little bit of the sea also with a lot of those bitter herbs that are actually used for fungus. And it pulls that thing out. There's a... You remember that old... You, he's got to watch out for this thing called Qatar. Qatar is a, a mucus infection in your mucus membranes. But it comes from, you know, this comes from dairy products, you know, things that are, you know, wet going to something that's wet, mucusy, that starts to now dry and it gets fungusy. You got it? So just make sure he's on that, increases water. Okay? Yep. Thank you. All right. Take care now. Okay. We've got Karim up in the corner right next to Jerice. Karim, what's going on, brother? Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? All right, all right, man. All right, all right. Yeah, quick and uh, simple. Hope all, everyone is well. I just wanted to uh, mention that um, I got some bitter cups. I only have uh, six left. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Carol. Thank you. You're about to get 60 calls on this one. <laughs> well, the thing is, oh, the thing man. is, from last time, I took. I captured, I took the pictures of the chat box. So over the weekend, you know, I got them in on Friday, finally, and I started going through my phone and contacting people. So I sent out a uh, shipment on Monday. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I have six left. Man, can it, I get one, can please? You, can you show them? Can I need show one, them? please. Show them what it looks like, Tim. Show them show oh, what it looks like. <laughs> the, um, Been a little tiny ones too. Mm -hmm. You don't need a lot. Well, Remember, you don't no. need a lot. Mm -mm. This is uh, so, but they're really. I think from what I'm told, <laughs> over there they uh, they didn't used to be this way, but now people are. They like, I guess, uh, what's going on? Why are so many of these cups being sold? So, <laughs> so they're starting. They're starting to raise the prices and all that. Oh, so, man. But, so what my sources had to do is I requested a certain amount, and then they had to go and break them up and send me a little bit at a time. So mm -hmm. they're going to uh, – they asked if it's just going to be a continual thing. I said, well, you know, it's getting too frustrating. But I said, yeah, for now. Mm -hmm. So they're going to try to get to the person that makes them so they could try to keep the cost down. Mm -hmm. And then to ship those, they had to go through a whole yeah, bunch of Yeah, see, that's the problem. That's the problem I yeah. ran into with, you know, yeah. because after you take it and then you do the shipping and everything, it just yeah. doesn't cost effective for someone to actually deal with a middle person. You got to deal directly yeah. with the source. Exactly. Because and it's that, just, it, they're, you know, people are just, there's a price that they will pay for it, but there's a price that there's a little bit too to the point you would have to charge them. And that's where it becomes skeptical. So you got to be careful with, you know, understanding folks that's coming from the Amazon. And uh, it's a lot going on over there. They find out something working. They be like, hold up. Let me see. Yeah. That'll be eight more dollars. <laughs> yeah. And that, that's you know, what's they gonna happening. Raise up. Yep. Yeah, that's what's happening. So the folks, you know, they're, they're working. They're sending smaller shipments. And uh, so mm -hmm. I got a batch in Friday. I have six left. And mm -hmm. if anyone's interested, just direct message me in the via the chat. Uh, Zipporah, I sent, and, and people too, they're not yeah. looking at the chat because I sent Zipporah an email early mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I know she's been asking, but she never responded because she didn't check the chat. I'm trying mm -hmm. to hook you up. All right, Zipporah, don't, don't be lunching, Zipporah, don't be lunching. Hey, guys, just get on the stick. <laughs> when, when he makes it up and says, come get it, you got to get on it. That's right. That's right. Okay. Remember now, um, bitter cups are the, it's, it's a long history with bitter cups. If you go to my website, it gives you, I give the whole breakdown of what's, what the bitter cup is all about. But remember it's from the bitter wood. And then basically by you just pouring water in that cup, you know, it starts to absorb now from the wood the tonic and creates a tonic into the water now the water becomes a literally a tonic so it can bitter pull toxins and chemicals and things out of the body so it's a it becomes a like a shot a bitter shot yep 
they were yeah. nicely packaged for me too. Mm -hmm. So, how much are they? But Dr. Paul, what what I one thing I do is because people ask, I, and <laughs> I meant to have some in the in the um, I meant to put some in a cup this morning, and but I forgot. Because I was going to demonstrate what it is because people think it's all this to it and all. And all you do is in a cup and you drink the water after it sits. That's for it. Several hours overnight. It's no magic. <laughs> There's no magic. That's it. That is the magic right there. I so, had people that was, <laughs> you know, and I tried to explain it. And I had folks <laughs> taking it and uh, putting the water, putting it in the refrigerator. <laughs> they were doing all kind of crazy stuff. I was like, who told you that? You know, so yes, it's very simple. Remember, the the bitter wood is um, it has fifty times more bitter than cinchona, the actual hydroxychloroquine element that goes into that medication, and that means it's uh, it's used for parasites. You know, that you can actually eliminate parasites out of the system. So, you know, it's it's a it's an excellent form for keeping you detox. Uh, especially if you have diabetes, things like that. And remember, I told y'all we're dealing with walking cesspools. We're walking cesspools now. You got to get it moving. So it works very well. All right, Karen. Oh, yeah, that's all I had. All right, Karen. Thank you, brother. You right, I don't know if you want to give out your number with six in your hand. No, uh, I'm, I'm, getting a, I'm getting bombarded with the chat. So <laughs> Maybe you can just get a list, man. Maybe you can get a list going. You know, all, it, folks. All, it's, it's in the chat. All the email addresses are, are okay. in the chat. Good, good. Okay. Good. okay. So thank you. All, all right. right. Thank all you, right. Karen. Very good. Laverne is next, Dr. Paul, right next okay, to Okay, Laverne. Laverne? Thank you for the opportunity. Um, I want to know about a keloid. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do for that? It's... It, continuously itches yeah so when you have keloids for those who know what keloids are keloids are overgrowth of skin it's overgrowth when skin starts to it's usually from like a scar it could be a cut or surgery you know you get these keloids are they actually rise up you ever see anybody with a branding from like yeah. a, yeah. you ever see a branding and you see how it rises up like the q dogs yeah. or k k size something like that and it rises up right here there you go that's why i threw that out there. <laughs> you said you threw the wrong one out there first i'll tell you cow <laughs> <laughs> straighten that out because he just got off my i had to straighten that one out so here we go uh what it is the over <laughs> so, so here we go uh keloid is overgrowth so there's certain things you do not want to put on a keloid it only happens with people of color. Yes, they already know that it's melanated people that have the problem because the melanin uh, is growing, it's healing too fast. Mm -hmm. So when it starts to heal too fast, it will start to root. And now it grows down and it rises up and grows down and it starts to become very painful. It starts to itch first, but then that means it's, it's starting to root. We don't want it to root. So the, what we do is we use a couple of herbs and things that actually help with keloids and scars and things like that. That would be tea, traditionally what's used, got it? Traditionally what's used is tea tree oil and lavender oil mix, 50-50. Sometimes, matter of fact, you'll go into the herbal store and they'll have that combination already put together. 50-50 is exactly your ratio, got it? So what you would do is when you put that on, you would that will actually start to tea tree actually deals with infections, and then also lavender cools. So now it starts to lower it, so it doesn't root, and then eventually it fades it. So that's what we would use for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And one more, uh, I'm writing that down as you <laughs> lavender cools. Lavender cools. Yep. It and it starts, and that's also going to stop it from itching. That's why we give it to children. Also, it's a cooling. Yep, lavender is always the calmative. It okay. cools. That means it brings it to a temperature where the body can now start to start to heal from inflammation. So it moves inflammation away from the body. That's what it does. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for that information. And uh, yeah. I wanted to ask a question about. 
if these people on the TV are talking about war, and if they push the button for nuclear uh, disaster, mm-hmm. where do we find a gas mask from? Uh. Well, you said nuclear. You ain't say gas. You you didn't say gas. You said nuclear. (laughs) It's a different different thing. Uh, If you hit nuclear, that gas mask ain't working. (laughs) (laughs) You ain't got to worry about no gas. (laughs) Because we're wearing these regular masks, and if there's a a lot of uh, bacteria or whatever. Mm -mm. Yeah, see, this is the thing, you know, I would think that, you know, you have this thing called the EM pulse, you know, mm-hmm. I think that would probably be more devastating, devastating than the actual, you know, n- you know, weapons itself, because you got two things that happen with a nuclear blast. You have the actual devastation of the splitting of the atoms, and then you get what's called the EM pulse, which actually now changes the polarity of frequency so it now knocks out anything of a certain charge and that means that cars electronics batteries motherboards fry them fry them all knocks out everything that happens that knocks out our grid and therefore we have nothing no power at all our grid right now they have some things in the in the legislation now trying to protect our grid that's why I mentioned, and I don't last, know if you were just, on, Laverne. Just last week. Last week, I was talking about the solar. I gave out a list of all the solar generators. Did y'all look at those, by the yep. way? Oh, so, yes. Yep. You better grab one. Grab one, keep it moving. You know, uh, I gave a list. I don't know, Big B, you still got that list from last week that you can maybe punch that in there? Yeah, it's it's in the, uh, it was in the chat from last week. Though, Paul. Yeah, see what you have now, Laverne. Uh, hopefully, we, we're we very much praying that it would never be devastating from a nuclear blast, okay? Um, but I tell you, y'all need to stop and leave this dude alone because you're cornering mm-hmm. a you're cornering a, a crazy cat. Hey man, a crazy you know, man. You know, a crazy man, and then you don't know what they will do, you know? And if they just knock your power out, what happens right now? We're on here. God forbid all the lights go out. Are you ready? Are you prepared? Do you have enough food? You know, do you have enough water? Because remember, remember, water can't pump to your house well, unless it has electricity. I know that's right. Matter of fact, water can't be filtered unless it's you know unless it has electricity. You got it. We don't even think about that one. You know, so that's why solar generators are from the sun. You don't have to get a big one, y'all. You don't have to get a big one. You just got to get a, a, a nice size one that you can afford. Yep, there's one right there. Karen, looking. You see that one down there? I gave a list of about, I guess, I'm, what about five or six of them? Five, last of them. five yeah. Five of them that I recommend, recommend. And you just sit the solar panels right outside. They yep. charge. Yep. You don't have to worry about gas or the fumes from gas or diesel or any type of those generators. And they're not loud. They're quiet. They don't make no noise. It charges. And then you can carry that around with you in the house. Because this is what my concern is. If the power goes out, the grid goes down, and it's in a summer heat. Woo! Wow. Or a winter. Or a winter. You know, you got to be prepared, man. You got to be prepared. So, you know, there's some four Patriot there's supplies. I think there's a couple of emergency supply places I gave out also. Yeah. Get your walkie talkies, you know, have a, a meeting place for your family. You know, all the stuff is like part of, you know, your, 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 your sort of understanding that we're in those turbulent times right now you where you don't know what's going to happen. <clears throat> you got it. Oh, thank you. All right. Well, thank you. Get that list again. Yeah, uh, Big B, you got that list from last week. I don't have it, but I, it's in the uh, the uh, chat from last has, week. Just anybody... request request a chat from last week, Doctor Paul. It's all in there. Yeah, okay. yeah, Cynthia, we have a list. I gave about five of the different solar. Yeah. Uh, Blue Eddie was the one that I recommend. Yep, that I was one of the best. Yep, Blue exactly. Eddie, Blue Jackery, Eddie, Jackery, Jackery. I have it here. Jackery, yep, that's the one Karen just showed. Yeah, yep. Echo Flow. Echo Flow, yep. Echo Flow is another one. Go Lab. Go Lab. What was the last? What was that one, Sheila? 
Go Labs, G O. Go Labs, yep. Go Labs, yep. Go Labs. And Generac. In Generac, Generac. Generac. Yeah. yep. And, Generac. Some, and let me tell you, those are the best ones right there. Those stay in that circle right there. Stay in that circle. Okay. There's a lot of them out there. Uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of them. You don't want to really cut corners when you're talking about that because remember, this is your. We're talking about life supporting now. You know, you you can run a hot plate off of this. You can run a refrigerator. You can run a you know um, you know some form of uh, of like a a heater or an air conditioner off of this, you know small refrigerator things like that. So these things are sustainable, and uh, they're also portable. So you can move them around, move around with them. Some of them have multiple inputs mm -hmm. that deal with USB. Uh, they also have ones for USB C, USB uh, one, two, and three. They also have regular power cords, and then they also have ones that have RV plugs. So if you have like an RV or something hooked from your car, because sometimes some of the SUVs have a have an RV uh, plug, right. you can use it from there. Got it. So there's a lot of options. Try to get one that has all those different types of plugging that you can plug in got it and uh and that's basically it you know stay on guard mm -hmm. all right okay laverne thank you thank you uh, all right we got margaret right next to laverne there, dr paul hey <laughs> margaret margaret you there thank you dr paul thank you very much all right. you're welcome hey right, margaret. margaret can you hear me yes we yep. can Hi, I finally got thrilled. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, I just have a question. I had a vertigo. Periodically, I get vertigo, and I just wanted to know where there's some urge that I could take for that. Oh, wow. You just missed what we talked about vertigo earlier. Were you on the call oh. earlier? No, I got on late. Yeah, see, we talked about vertigo. We talked about some of the things that you got to look out for. Number one, vertigo uh, you have to look for misalignments, cervical misalignments. You know, sometimes that can cause a problem. Uh, also, structural issues first. Um, that's one thing I would check first. Make sure you get to a good chiropractor. Uh, number two would be watch out for uh, infections in the system. Urinary tract infections is what we talked about. I would definitely say uh, try to get the, the chat notes from for next week okay because that's a whole part we just went over that that's one over okay. a whole section on that okay margaret and 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 definitely we went into detail so i wouldn't have to repeat myself on that one okay okay i'll do that thank you okay. so much thank you right. appreciate it all right all right uh let's see let's see what do we have here also big b give yep. them your proper someone uh a couple of people were, were calling mm -hmm saying they couldn't when they emailed you they needed to bounce back i think they had it wrong because you spell yeah. it out slowly. okay i'll, I'll, I'll so put it so. into it's mecca video guys here we go yeah. well say it slow we have to say, say so so because the go. people on the on the phones can't maybe want to write this down also okay mm -hmm. it's m e c c a v i d e o at gmail.com again that's m e c c a v i D E O at gmail.com. Yeah, I think some people were putting Maka M A. It's M E. Uh, it's M E. Mm -hmm. M E. Yep. Got it. Mecca. All right. Sounds good. We got we got some chats there, Big B. We got some chat there. Uh let me see. So we're running up on time here. We're running up on our time. Yeah. I'm gonna take all the way to Cynthia. Cynthia, I think you were the last one that logged in there. And Thank um, you. Uh, Queen B. We got Queen B up there. Yes, Dr. Paul. Yes, Queen. Good how evening, are you? Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Hello, family. Queen. Okay. I have a question here, and this is for my um, granddaughter, mm -hmm. Chastity. She's on the call right now. She's 15, and she gets car sick whenever she's in my car. <laughs> she's what? When she's in her mother's car, she's okay. But she gets car sick when she's in my car. Mm. I tried letting her sit in the back seat, and then it helped a little, but she still feels car sick when mm. she's in my car. Now, what what's the difference between the cars? I'm just I'm just curious. <laughs> I, I I really I no difference. 
My car is okay. a newer car. <laughs> Your car is a new car. We it's... both we both have SUVs, so it's the same seating, the same style of car. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it yours, is yours that. is yours higher versus hers, the other one. Um. It, what? It, what? Says you, mm -hmm. what I think her mom's car might be higher. Yeah, sometimes that may have an effect on it, you know. But also, this the shocks on cars mm -hmm. bounce up and down. And my son used to get sick all the time when he was young. He still sometimes got to roll the window down because we move around and that bumping can mess with vertigo issues. You know, you know, um, I would, number one, that's the one thing we look at. That we look at the cars. But number two, and then you said they're new cars, so I wouldn't suspect that it would be the second reason, which is exhaust fumes. Okay, no. you know, silent exhaust fumes. You still want to check it though, because okay. that does happen. It ha it happens in new cars too. Silent exhaust fumes can yeah. come from areas of the gas, and matter of fact, some of the the SUVs, the gas fueling system is under the back seat. Yes. Okay. Did I have a Subaru it? Forester. Mm -hmm. Some of them are right in the back seat where you're sitting on the actual fuel. Yes, yep, fuel filters and things mm -hmm. are right under there. And if there's a slight leak, I remember I had to take mine back to the dealer because when I had mine repaired, they forgot to put a little cap on it. Wow. And I kept and I kept getting this fume. I'm like, what is that smell? I keep smelling a little bit of fumes coming in here. And then I said. And I knew the, the specs on my car because before I took it in there, you know, I did, did the research. I was like, where y'all going to be digging? Where y'all going? What y'all doing? Yeah, uh -huh. How much it going to cost? I know, you know? Right. So I was already on it. So when I went back, I said, can you check my back seat where the filter is? Because I think somebody probably have left something open. And guess what? When they took it in the back, they said, sir, you were absolutely correct. They left um, a little cap off of your fuel filter that holds down the fumes that actually escape so there may be something on that i'm just throwing that out there I'm not saying yeah. that of course because you you got yeah. new cars uh <laughs> you want to check everything she's picking up something she's picking up something yeah, very, she has a sensitive. real sensitive system she has yeah. a sensitive system <laughs> so um uh, vertigo also can be um some issues but but see this is the thing it sort of eliminates it from her because she's getting it in one car and not getting it in the other. So right. you got to do a little detective work with that. You got to sort of probe her a little bit. It could be the driver. It could be the driver. Queen, Queen, you got a heavy foot. You got a heavy foot, Queen. You got a heavy foot, don't you? I tried yes, fast, so it could be the speed, too. I tried slowing down, but... That poor see, child, uh, she was hitting the gas. Yeah, I like, knew Cricket wasn't going to let that go by. <laughs> she going like this. <laughs> oh, All right. Oh, no. <laughs> you, you need to ask her. I'll try to go slow the next time. <laughs> Yeah, you need to ask her like, what's what's you know what's different, you know? And that's the first thing I would say. Cause children, how old is she, by the way? Fifteen. Chas, yeah. can you can you answer the question? Oh, she's on here. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Can you can you answer that question? Oh, what what was it? Baby's iPhone. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go ahead, baby. <laughs> what, what, what's the difference between Queen's car and the other car? Um, it's hot in her car. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, hot. it's hot now. Yes, that that's contributing. Oh yes. Wow. Okay. Heat has and a I lot. I do to... have a leak system. So. And what was that? I do have a leak system, so it gets really hot in her car. Okay, that's oh, that's very important, okay. Queen. See, see, okay. we're probing, we're probing, we're probing. Mm -hmm. See heat when you have that heat there, yes, that that can be a very thing that can you know cause some people to have get a little dizzy, you know, too hot, overheating, raises the blood pressure. Got it. So you might want to turn yeah. that heat down. She did it's, tell it's, me that. Okay. And I, I thought, well, it wasn't that hot because I wasn't really feeling hot. You were too busy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> you were too busy putting that foot in the tank. <laughs> 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 
I declare <laughs> help us, y'all. He's stepping on it. Yes, just, just, just hit, just hitting the gas. <laughs> Uh-uh. All right. All right. Well, keep that up and keep us posted. All right. Okay. But I have one more question. She okay. also has painful knees. Mm. Painful knees. And 15 yeah. years old. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. She's so you got to start. Exercise. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would first start to look at nutrition. Number one, you know, uh, green drinks and also a, uh, this is traditionally, we, we go for coral calciums. Coral calcium, just a little coral calcium. Uh, traditionally, we give young folks when they're growing. She, she's growing, so these could be growing sports also. Got it? So these can be. Is she getting tall? Yeah. Oh yeah. Getting tall, baby. She just sprung up. <laughs> yep, she's getting tall. That could be growing. You know, that could be growing pains. You know, so that happens. Oh, five, mm-hmm. Yep. Hmm. I'm only five three. Yeah, but you're growing. You grew. <laughs> you're growing. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes we got to support the bone structure, you right, know, right. things like that. And the nervous system, you know, the folic acid, you know, also magnesium, you know, things like that, you know, uh, iron. And that's all things that you can get from uh, things like the coral calcium. Um, you, you can get it from a lot of good sources, alfalfa. You know, those are good. Green drinks. That's why I put alfalfa in my green drink, because I know yeah. that it's a lot of children are taking my green drink, you know. Yeah. So they I need just ordered that. six, so I'll give her one. Yep. So <laughs> you should be good. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. baby. See, she didn't told on you. You got a heavy foot over there, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> And a hot God. car. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he said. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Thank you, All Dr. Right. Paul. Thank sure. you. All right. Thank you so much, Queen. Appreciate it. Ask one more question. Okay. Sure. sure. Um, whenever I'm done eating, um, I start to get this like feeling in my throat, and it's I sometimes I throw up the food that I just ate. Hmm. It only happens with meat and dairy products. Oh, yes, you know, there you go right there. That's the ones you ain't supposed to be eating in. That's what it is. So try to do things like not so much meats, okay? You got you're not digesting them properly. So that means that, you know, you like fish, try lighter things like fish, okay? And watch out for the dairy. Okay. No no cow's milk. Cow's milk is for calves, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, <laughs> hallelujah. <I'll>, yeah. <laughs> so you can do like okay. do the you can do the other milks, which is the plant based milks. Uh, Got almond, it? Almond. Cashew milk. Almond. Got it. Mm-hmm. Uh almond milk is good too, but just make sure it doesn't have carrageenan. Got be careful of the carrageenan. Carrageenan is the thickener. Mm-hmm. So cashew yeah. milk, oat milk. You know, uh, coconut milk, all those are better for you, okay? All right, I think okay. she's on mute now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, all right, v- keep very us good. posted, all right? All right, very quickly, Dr. Ball, we've got uh, what, about um, four cool. or five minutes. You got okay. Colette and uh, got Cynthia. Colette and Cynthia, right, uh-huh. got it. Colette? Colette, you still there? Colette, you there? I don't know if she's there. She might have stepped out. Uh, okay, Colette, then this. Colette, 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 Colette. Colette. Cynthia, Cynthia is right next. All right, mine's is quick. Cynthia. Got the call. Got How you doing? Call. All <laughs> right, here she is. She ran down the steps. See, okay, she ran Colette, down the go steps. ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, my question, I have uh, one major question. Um, I'm asking about cancer. Um, I know someone, they have uh, ovarian cancer, and they have been treated with uh uh, chemo, and it went into a little remission. They have fourth stage, and now something else occurred, and they they're in the hospital, and they found out they have a blood clot in their kidney. Mm. Yeah, okay. see, one problem is causing another. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Yep, yep, I just yep. wanted your your professional opinion about well, that. Yeah, they would definitely have to come in for an assessment, and then we got to give mm-hmm. them a whole breakdown of what to do. Because not only are they going to need to detox, 
you know, but yeah. they got the detox now. You, you're you talking about, did you say chemo? You said chemo. Yes. Chemo. Yeah, so now I'm we got a chemo you. problem. So now that's backing up inside of the lymphatic system. So we have to do a, a multiple detox situation, but they have to stay away from certain things. They got to have a good dietary understanding about what they can and cannot eat. You can't just release somebody after they've gone through that and tell them you can eat anything you want. No, you got right. a strict diet. You got to get your water on time. You got to make sure that you're doing something outside the box. No meats, things like that. You got to right. properly get the pH done. They need an assessment and assessment vast. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's in the hospital. And so mm. I don't know. I don't yeah. know how open she is either with things. Yeah, but, so, and um, then that comes with the other thing because this is when, you know, and, and Colette, I'm glad you're bringing this up because this is a very important point. This is what I was saying that, you know, everybody here should give yourselves a hand for just being on tonight because, and go ahead and give yourselves a hand, give yourselves a hand. Oh, yeah. Because, um, because you're making the effort to do something. Mm hmm Amen. When we get, when, when I get these calls, it's usually right where Colette's talking about right now. It's right to the point where the person is, says they have cancer and they've gone through something and they're at a major crisis. Mm hmm and now they got to turn this whole boat around. They got to do a 180. And they probably never done, you know, a lot of things with, you know, holistic health and things like that at all. So now yeah. it's not only a transformation physically, but it's a transformation first mentally. And yeah. that's where it becomes a major challenge. So that's where we, we have to tackle both worlds. And that's why uh, they would have to get an assessment. But first, she has to be willing to step forth that she wants to get well and go right. this route. Okay. okay. Um, one more, one more, mm -hmm. real quick. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> there's another uh, person that has a nodule on each side of their neck, but not on their thyroid, they said. And they had a CT scan and uh, uh ultrasound i think and the doctors are telling them that there's no sign of uh malignancy or anything okay so but the person has gained weight you know a mm -hmm. hair and spinning, so on so forth so um yeah. you know and she says oh they told her that one is inflamed one side of the of one nodule and one side is inflamed Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. so, yeah. 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 Again, we're, we're getting into technicals, you know, when it's now, this is where, you know, once you've done things out of balance for so long, mm -hmm. now it starts to create what's, what's called structural issues. You okay. Got it. It's causing the structural yeah. issues. So now it's starting to mess with the actual, you know, thyroid itself. It's now to the point where they start talking about, you know, burning ripping or cutting something out then they already failed you yeah. got it they failed they failed uh -huh. you got it okay. that's what we got to remind mm -hmm. people when they talk talking about you know pulling something out of you or taking it out or removing something they have already failed okay. so what does it mean you got to get these rhythms back we got to learn how to take care of our bodies right now and in this rhythm and understand our bodies you know we just haven't been taught right uh assessment again have them come on in and we'll try mm -hmm. to get them in as soon as we can okay, okay. i all right. appreciate that Thank all you. right sure sure Very all right uh, uh big b yeah, uh man. cynthia 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 that's right cynthia got you and then we're, you, we're out of Paul. time mm -hmm. so, um you know i don't take i don't like taking medicine i had a, i had a car accident and it got mm. hit in the back and so oh, sorry to hear my mm. lower back and my leg um all the way down to to my foot now. So mm -hmm. my doctor ordered um, this prednisone. You know, I'm slipping out over that. Mm -hmm. So, um, so um, I was told to try, and I went and bought it. And so I wanted to ask your opinion on it. It's called. I'm saying. I hope I'm saying it right. In in I I isotol. Isotol. Can you see that? Inositol. Uh, Inositol. Uh, Inositol. Inositol. Colleen, you talking about Colleen? No, no. See, it's inositol. Mm -hmm. Colleen and inositol. And inositol, right. right. Okay. So mm -hmm. my question is, the in, look, 
I only have two doctors that I love. That's you and Dr. Burton, okay? <laughs> okay, right. I appreciate it. Okay, so. <laughs> I appreciate I, that. When I went online, I didn't, they said it's supposed to be good for sciatic. Do you mm -hmm. know if it really is? Because it didn't have much information. Yeah, I mean, you use it for a lot of things, you know, and my question is always, do you need it? You know, uh, I'm in pain. Geez, I yeah, I <laughs> I'm I hear you. I hear you. All right. So when you're dealing with choline or inositol, they're always dealing with nerve issues, nerve okay. transmission, nervous system. You know, that's for what we give those who are having issues with. You remember we talked about the autonomic issues. Right. Um, you know, we got to get to the root of what your pain is coming from. You know, that's why I would say first, you know, what's your pH? You know, because that's 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 key. You got to turn the signal off for the body that's trying to rob you going after, you know, the hip, the joints and ligaments and connective tissue because it's feeling that you're not giving us what we need. So right. we got to grab it from somewhere else. We got to grab it out that hip, grab it out them knees, you know. So that's what I would start to track your pH first. Okay. And then next, uh, I would definitely... And this is about, I'm, I'm going to say this is the top thing right now mm. is what I started off with today is assimilation <clears throat> because we live in this Northern hemisphere and this food is so, you know, jacked up with all of the industrialization. We're not assimilating anything. And, then, and if, if we are assimilating something, it's got less than what is required to have period. You know, uh, so that's where I would say, Cynthia, you got to get some boosters. Uh, look into the thing like the coral calcium we talked about. You remember the I coral calcium? Okay. okay. You know, with the green drink, green drink with coral calcium does, together? does boost. Yep, together. Those okay. are serious okay. boosts right there. Okay. That, that's something that usually starts to balance out the pH very quickly. Okay. And me and brings you up, but I would test yourself to be sure. Okay. You know, everybody should have those pH strips. You know, have those pH strips handy and test yourself. Always do it before a meal, never after a meal. Got it? Okay. And then, uh, and just chart yourself and just so that you know where you are. Okay. And usually that's it. I I'm going to say 99.9999999% of the people that come through are all acidic. Everybody's okay. acidic. Okay. Everybody's a city because if we're not doing something outside the box, we just not getting it, you know, and you, you, you got to stay on top of it. Uh, we had one guy that came in. I don't know if Dre is on the line. Yeah, he's, guy, he, he was early. He was on the line. I think he was on the line. We had this one guy. He was real quiet. <laughs> he was real quiet. Didn't say nothing. And the whole family came in. About three or four people came in, and then he was sitting there. And didn't ask no questions, nothing. Everybody came up asking. This boy ended up like 7.2. I was like, whoa. Everybody was like, they said, what are you doing? Uh, I'm doing sea malls. <laughs> I'm doing green drinks. They said, you ain't telling nobody you was doing all this stuff. It was amazing. So what is it? It's the energy you put in your body. Yes. So keep that in mind. All yes, right? yes, 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 so, yes. So yes, uh, the choline. And also tall is good for you, but I would think more on things that deal with bone density, things that if okay. you got pain, that's good for transmission of nerves, things like that. So, right. you know, it's, it can be effective. Okay. Yep. All right. Hey guys, right. We're, we're at the time right. limit. I got my ass Robin, Zappora, and Gay. And Helen, if you can send an email to makeavideo at gmail.com with your question. I see, since I see your hands up, send that question and I'll follow it to Dr. Ball and get you an answer that way. How about that, Dr. B? That works. All right. Sounds good to me, Big B. How about that? It's also Big B. Tell them how they can support us in this mission that we have and what we're doing here. All right. With the as, as usual, guys, you know, to support the family tree, 
you can you want to use Dr. Paul's Cash App, and that's dollar sign Dr. Paul Hop. That's dollar, dollar sign Dr. Paul Hop or Zell from the bank to Bill Morgan. That's Mecca Video at Comcast.net. Okay, and if you have a PO box, send out to Post Office Box. Send to my name, Bill Morgan, PO Box One Nine One, Mullica Hill, New Jersey zero eight zero six two. All that information will be right there. We'll get back to you. Make sure I'm here, and of course, you know I'm gonna bug him until he send me the link so I can get it out to you first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. Uh, all right, yes, y'all. What's all about. Hey, I want to thank you all for tuning in. This has been a blast, and I hope you got something out of it. Did you learn anything tonight? Yeah. Hey. hey. All right. Yes, now, yes, we say it's information that you learn by the tree. The only thing I charge you with is the truth, right, Foxy? That's right. Tell them That's the right. truth. Yep, yep, well, yep. tell them that. Tell them. You better go tell somebody. And not only that, but you be the person that may be able to help somebody or even save a life. And that may be your, it may be the one you haven't even met yet. That's right. So let this be a lesson moving forward. Uh, each one teach one. And I want to say to everyone, it's a pleasure always to be here. And I'm so glad that we that chimed in this evening. Yes, yes, and, yes. Uh, and, and we got some good stuff tonight. And uh, Big B over there, we are, you know, what happens when you send in your uh, help and don donations through Cash App? It's actually going to Big B over there, who's actually helping us with all of the programming and the posting and all that stuff. Let's give Big B another hand over there, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Just put your hands together. Make sure. You know, we appreciate yes. you so much, man. You a man on a mission, man. You came on back and you showed them. Yes, you sir, showed buddy. them, man. And his testimony, y'all, let me tell you, maybe Big B might be back this weekend. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Yes, yes. <laughs> but thank you, Big B. We yeah, love man. you, man. Thank As you so always. much. Yes, All right, family. I just want to say thank you. Be encouraged. And remember, if you're breathing, you got, got a shot. shot. All, right. All right. All right. Dance it uh -huh. out, y'all. Y'all know y'all got to dance it out. Uh -huh. I heard that, y'all. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, come on, dance it out. We're going to tap hey. it out, tap it out. Hey, Dr. Moore, this is what happens when you get to, get to the end of the show, Dr. Yeah, Moore. They don't want to tap it out, boy. They don't want to. They better not leave without tapping it out. I can stand on my head and get it done. Hey. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 is that what they say? You got your head in the clouds. Yeah, but I always get your head in the clouds. Where you going? <laughs> All right, come on down. See you. <laughs> Temple. Come on down. All right, come on down. Good. All right. Go on, y'all group. Yeah. And breathe. And breathe. Yeah. And breathe. And breathe. Come on down. Come on down. To the chin. Right around the chin. Come on down. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Good, good. Right behind the stern. Right here. Tap, tap, tap. Uh, <laughs> got your back, got your back. 
Four, 